Well, I'll do a video today to show you to upgrade the rear lights in your Mini to this smoked LED type. It's got the LED array, not sure how well you can see it there, um, from the standard type. So this is our Cooper S convertible we've got in today. So you can see that's the original standard type. Now with these Mini lights, you've got to be careful, there are two types fitted. So if you look at the back of our car, you'll notice that just here somewhere, where's my finger gone, there it is. Right, that, we've got the fog light here in the bumper and the reverse lights here. So there are two types, some have the fog here and the reverse down there and some have the fog here and the, and the reverse there like this car here. So we've got both types of lights in stock. Um, so just to see, it's quite striking just to see what the two lights look like. So this is the original one we've changed here on the left and this is the one we're going to go and fit now to the right hand side on the right so the first thing to do you're going to do the get Ian on the tools today so you've got to open the boot now this is something I never knew existed and I've owned this car a year so there's these little levers you can pull up there which allow you to lift the boot and then right well, let's watch that on this side there you go there's these little stays and I guess that's so you can get a bigger suitcase in your tiny boot. I, I guess it might help, especially if you fold the seats down, that would give you more space. Anyway, that's the by the by, but it does make getting access to the rear lights easier. So if I just, do you want to just grab one of those, that original rear light out of the box? Um, what we're looking for is we're going to go in through, there's a little panel here you can remove. Um, that allows you to get in the back and what we're looking for on the rear light you've got this protruding um, stud that comes out that's got a nut on the end there's only one nut holding it in and then you've got these two spring clips which obviously this is for the the left hand side so the the spring clips are on the outbound side there and then the stud is is on the inbound side there so what Ian's got is a ratchet 10 millimeter ratchet spanner and he's it's going to be a tricky one to show on the video, but basically you've got to get in there, feel your way about, and you're only looking for the one, one nut. There's only one nut in there on the end of that long pointy thread, and what you've got to do is find, have a little fiddle around, and as long as your ratchet's going on your span, now you can use a socket set as well, you can have a little wriggle there. And this is going to take a while, we'll see how long might shortcut the video but let's have a let's have a go you've got limited swing on the spanner so it seems to sort of take forever you got a finger tight yet nope nope just when you think it's gonna go no, I'll stop the video there and we'll We'll get on with that and then we'll join you when we've got it at the end of the okay, thread. Okay, so we've got the nut to the end of the thread now. So it's a question of, right, you, what you don't want to do, warning point, don't drop the nut in the back of the boot. So when it gets towards the end of the thread, make sure you uh, get your fingers on it. Can we have a look at the nut there just to show, to show what it's like? So yeah, it's one of these sort of, it's got an integrated washer. It's a nylock nut, which means you can't spin it off. It's got that sort of anti-loss, anti-vibration loss thing. So we're that off. The light's almost ready to pop out, but obviously you've got those two springs. So how are we gonna go? Try and, I think it's gonna be easier to push at the top first to release the top spring. Okay, you might wanna get your hands around the back and push on those springs a bit. There we go. And now give it a push at the bottom. It looks like it's coming. There you go. Okay, and that's the, right, now let's have a look at how we do the connector. So it's obviously got an a connector, you've got to push down that little tab at the top, wiggle the connector out, and then we've got that. Right, chuck that one in the boot. Okay, and there's the new lamp there. It comes with a sort of protective bit to stop you poking your eye out and damaging the box in transit. Now one point to note here, we'll just point this out, is that when you put LED lights in your car, you do need a resistor to stop your indicator flashing too fast like your bulbs have gone because they take a lot less current so these lights come with an integrated resistor pack built into them at the bottom there so they are plug and play you can just put them in okay click that into the connector now you've got to actually just make sure that that if I just point that out from the back so you've got this little area here you've just got to make sure that you you aim the uh, stud for that little hole in that little metal bracket there 
And it just takes some, and then when I did the other one, I did feel from the back and I could feel where the stud was going, feel the hole, get it in, because the clips on the side sort of try and force it over, but you've got a little bit of flex in that, that's it, on that mount at the back. There we go. Right, and just spin that on a couple of clicks here, and then we'll close the boot and show people what the uh, what it looks like. Right, here goes the key. Right, I'll shut the boot up. Okay, so hold on, I've got to, I've got to do all this tricky. That's it. Put those supports down. Close the boot up. Okay, so let's have a look. So there we go. So that's the tail light. I'm gonna do the brake as well. I might have to put the ignition on. That's it, there's the brake. Indicators. Okay, we haven't got fog. Reverse will be the other one we need to test. There you go, there's the reverse light there. So there you go, that's the uh, LED upgrade, the smoked LED upgrade light for the BMW Mini. This is a convertible we did it in, but these lights also fit the saloon. There you go, good luck with that.